Austin and McAllister hold on to speak to a live hope coach until I just arrived. I wish I could turn. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Faith-based organization. You know, I gotta say, I'm 27. Guys, if you're over 29, he wants to get the time of day. Motherfucking hypocrite. Only in the of segregation, uh, uh, discrimination against black people is discrimination against old people. And I, I really 42. So I'm telling them I'm 27, so I, I got to trick them into letting me come on the air because I got to. The only thing that would help me feel better about myself is if I could speak, spill my guts to America. Possible. Maybe someone out there will be smart enough in this world of dummies and zombies and stupid people to figure my problems out to help me find a cure for these fucking pains. Maybe even may, maybe even help me become a rapper or, or I get the confidence certain of that second. The first thing my main concern right there is getting rid of these fucking pains so I can be pain free, carefree, get rid of this fucking back pain, fucking neck pain, my arm. Feels constantly fat, stiff, numb, at least fucking herniated disc. But you don't give a god fuck deep. Well, fuck you too, you god fucking hipster. That's a special place. I hope there's a special place to hell for motherfuckers like you, god damn it. And just so you know, if I did come on live on the air and speak to Dalton McAllister, I would not say a single cuss word. Not a one thing. I would not say damn or hell. Not even those cuss words. But god damn it, until god damn it, I get on the goddamn motherfucking air, god fucking damn it, I'm a curse like a god no, I'll curse oh god fucking damn bad. That saves, sailors would blush for shame if they motherfucking heard me speak like motherfucking this, because I don't give a god Fuck so as long as I got to get leaving, living these God fucking hey, <laughs> like get living these God fucking pains. So, have have you ever heard have, have you ever heard of the Dawson McAllister show? No. Uh, hold on, let me touch your head, Lady Freddy. Okay, they're the a faith based faith based organization. I've been trying to get on the show to, to, to talk about my problems, but my problems are too complicated. They keep, keep blocking my number. So what I'm thinking about doing is try to get on Dr. Phil. I'm thinking about uh, doing a live attempt video. Of, this is uh, I'm gonna shock you, but you know, it, it, I don't want to die. But I'm uh, thinking about 
taking some sleeping pills and calling 911 and having them save me just in time. Maybe that video will go. Will that go. Would be crazy. If it gets me, it gets me on Dr. Oz. It's worth it. If it gets me cured of these pains. Yep. No more pain. No more fucking pain. Hey. Bye, y'all. Yep. It is what I got to do to get on Dr. Phil so that I can, that sh he can shrink my head. And I can just tell him the reason I'm acting like this is not me acting like this. is these fucking pains. These goddamn pains make me do it. I'm not in my right mind from this fucking pain. Maybe he'll let me get on fucking Dr. Oz and get a fucking cure because none of these fucking doctors here can get, figure out what the fuck is wrong with my asshole. And I'm fucking sick and tired of this fucking pain. And if I knew for certain that it was never going to be, get better, that I was for sure going to go to heaven when I died, that there was really an afterlife that lasted forever and ever, no reincarnation, and I would go to heaven, you goddamn right. I would fucking kill myself, god fucking damn it. I would fucking, I would fucking end my motherfucking life than live in these fucking pains with these fucking unfulfillable dreams because I'm so fucking old. Because nobody gives a god fuck. Because I'm not good looking. And nobody's watching my videos on YouTube because I'm not good looking. If I was good looking, I'd have tens of thousands of views. But right now, I'm lucky to get a hundred views on a fucking video. So this is fucking... Life is, is not fair. And life is a goddamn crock of goddamn shit. And now it's time to go get, drink a goddamn fucking goddamn cup of goddamn coffee. You god... You god fuck it.